Welcome to our lecture online. So now let's take a look at the special case where the center of the circle is at the origin. Again, we use the principle of the Pythagorean theorem. We understand that there's a point somewhere on the circle, and no matter where that point is, we can give it coordinates x and y. And of course, the coordinates of the center are h and k. But if we put the center at the origin, then h will equal 0 and k will equal 0. Now, this the side A, if we draw a little triangle, is still equal to the distance between here and here, but now it will be x minus 0. And over here, B will be y minus 0, because h and k are 0. And then the hypotenuse C is equal to the radius of the circle. We still get A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and so that's the basis of our equation for the circle. Now, that's also the basis of the equation for the distance formula. Now, a will be x minus h, just like before, b will be y minus k, and c is the radius of the circle. But remember that h and k, in this case, will be 0 because we place the circle at the origin. So therefore, instead of x minus 0, we simply have x. Instead of y minus 0, we simply have y. And so we get x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and that is therefore the equation of a circle with the center at the origin. If the center is not at the origin, then we have to write it as x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Now, typically in most algebra books, they like to write the r squared on the right side equal sign and x squared plus y squared or x minus h squared plus y minus k squared on the left side. It doesn't really matter. You can flip the equation around either way, but this seems to be the representation of the general and very specific equation of a circle, in this case, with the circle with the center at the origin. And that is how it's done. Okay. I'm awake. <laughs> you are awake. <laughs> this was riveting, right? That's why you're awake? No, it was a short one. <laughs>